we've of course got this tsunami of increasing obesity, type 2 diabetes, and of course fascinating increasing type 1 diabetes. This has created an epidemic that is not just a Western society problem, it's a developing country uh, problem. So two thirds of the population would either have diabetes or borderline diabetes. In the Western world, people develop diabetes in their 50s. In India, it would be in the 40s, the early 40s. We should be looking to change the culture uh, of the country uh, if we really want to make a difference in type 2 diabetes. Actually, very slim people are a rarity now in the Middle East. A normal human in our culture eats around eight to 10 times a day. It's taxpayers that are paying for this, although they're oblivious to that, of course. So that's whether you have diabetes or not, you're paying for it. Yes. For 25 years, I've been working in medicine, and for the majority of that time, working as a diabetes specialist or endocrinologist. And what's perplexing to me is that even though I know the importance of this disease, it seems that very few take it seriously. And the question is why? I'm on a personal quest to try to understand whether my concerns are really justified. I'm going to travel to different countries and communities to try to see the impact of diabetes for myself.